next guests are a family trio taking the country music world by storm, known as Chapel Heart. They are on their way to becoming reigning hit makers. Sisters Danica and Devin Hart and their cousin, Tree Swindle, have been on a whirlwind of success since their national debut on America's Got Talent last summer. They're showcasing twists on Dolly Parton's 1974 classic Jolene skyrocketed them from fan favorites to headline-making rising stars, catching the attention of Tanya Tucker, Loretta Lynn, even Dolly herself tweeted, what a fun new take on the song. And last September, Chapel Heart added another feather to their cowgirl hats with their debut at the world-famous Grand Ole Opry, receiving three standing ovations. Take a look. So much till rivers turn the seas. Oh, Jolene, when you think that he's in love, he'll surely like he did me. Come on, y'all, help us take it out, John. You can have him, Jolene. You can have him, Jolene. And Chapel Hart is here with us today, just as they're wrapping up, celebrating the success of their first. 60 plus show national tour. Their tour was called Glory Days, promoting their new album of the same name. Please welcome Mississippi born, New Orleans based powerhouse trio inducted into CMT's Next Women of Country, Tree, Danica, and Devin, the Queens of Chapel Heart. <laughs> How surreal has all of this been? It hasn't even been a year, right? Not even Not a, a year, year yet. Uh, we just realized it, that it was only last last June that everything in our life completely changed. Yeah. Have you slept a wink? Because I feel like every time I turn on social media, no. every time I watch TV, there y'all are. Not a wink. I said we... We scheduled a tour. We put. We we scheduled to release a new album, and we did it all and forgot to schedule in sleep. We were like, <laughs> we 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 missed that part. I but it has been a whirlwind, and we're just over the moon. I'm just soaking all of this in. <laughs> I mean, y'all are just. You go from what performing covers on the streets of New Orleans. Yes. To the Grand Ole Opry, three standing ovations. Oh my gosh, Kevin. <laughs> Start treat with the, the name uh, Chapel Heart. It comes from the community you're from, a uh, heart of Chapel in Poplarville, Poplarville, Mi Mississippi. Oh, yes. Poplarville, Mississippi. <laughs> yes, and um, and we like to try to explain it to people. Well, in South Mississippi, there's a town called Poplarville. Poplarville. Inside of Poplarville, there's a community called Derby, and inside of Derby, there's another community called Hearts Chapel. Hearts Chapel. And and, and mm -hmm. you're one of 108 grandchildren, so apparently y'all are the entire town. Yeah. Pretty much. Like Pretty much. much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was. That was the first half of the cousins. Yeah, that's like... Because that's not 108 because they all couldn't fit on one picture. Right, yeah, that's, no. That's so, just some so that's like the older half. And then there's like an entire, like... It's, the you, new kids. Right. If you could like copy and paste this right. picture again, it's like heavens <laughs> again. <laughs> um, you know, I, there's so many angels watching over you all. And mm -hmm. I know one of them is your grandma, Beatrice Hart. Um, she had it on her bucket list to see you all on stage at the Grand Ole Opry and her wish came true two months before she passed away. Mm -hmm. She was 86. Yes. And you dedicated the Glory Days tour to her. The fact that she got to see this, oh. oh. I kid y'all not. I feel like this day was, it was our debut at the Opry, but I really feel like it was like our grandma's debut that everybody just made her their grandma as well. Like yeah. we left and she was way more, she was way more famous than we'll ever be at the Opry. <laughs> oh, yeah. People are still asking, where's your grandma? Where's your grandma? What's she doing? And so um, she just has. Look, they have, listen, I told uh. them. <laughs> If you look in this picture, I don't have any shoes on. I see. And I had on these cute heels. As soon as the curtain went down at the Opry, I'm like, 
Take them off. You're like, I'm from Mississippi. Take these Take off. Them off. Right. And the very first picture and the very on the first website picture. was her feet zoomed in. Zoomed in on your feet. Like, at least my toes were pink. They were, they were cute. They you did have a nice yeah. polish on. Let me tell um, you. Sorry, all of the 60 City Plus Tour. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I mean, that's an ambitious It's launch. an ambitious run. Well, <laughs> yeah. And you know what? If we had any sense, Danica always says, maybe that's why people have, like, labels. Because the fact that we're independent and did, like, over 60 days and decided to release an album and record two music videos. Somebody so. should have said no. I, <laughs> I see why people have record labels. Have record, record labels like we ain't doing all like this one. <laughs> but I and love so. this, this independent. Why was it or is it so important to try to stay independent at this stage? Because I know it's obvious. I mean, the face of country is changing. We've had a lot of greats on our show um, that represent the diverse nature of country mm -hmm. music. But the independent part of musician, I love this storyline for y'all. Yes, and um, I think that it's an. I think it's important to us, um, to us right now, because I feel like there's so many, there's so many young artists out there, and with so many of our cousins and so many people watching, and a lot of people will say, "Well, I don't, I don't have the money to start. I don't have the, I don't have the tools to start." And I think that for even for us, because we didn't, have, we ain't got no money now. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but, but the, sometimes it just means to just start, start yeah. singing, start writing, just, mm -hmm. just start. And so, um, everything about where we are right now, what we've done, has just been us starting and trusting yeah. our gut and following our hearts. Yeah, and, because if you were under the tutelage yeah. of a label, they would change a lot of that. Mm -hmm. yes. um, I mentioned that you all have so many angels watching over you. Uh, the late, great Loretta Lynn, before she passed away, um, commented on social media on your AGT performance saying, I love it, ladies. Now I'm wondering what you might be able to do with one of my songs. Oh, that Loretta crazy. Lynn. I mean, you do. You have, like, this whole energy of people rooting for you. To have the pillars of country music, like the Dolly yeah. Partons, the Loretta Lynn's, like... And, That's it. And, and like, honestly, if, if the women who defined what country music is yeah. says that this is country, yeah. it really doesn't matter what anybody else says. I know, and I like that too, because to your point, there's room for everybody. There's the, you know, the hip hop influence mm -hmm. now in country. There's uh -huh. the rock country, but that you're taking it to this traditional world that the greats, you know, the Mount Rushmore's of female uh -huh. country music, they're now paying homage because you have kept it so authentic and to what they help create. We want to share our experiences growing up and and and, and show the influences right. that we had. And uh, we sure hope that it comes through in our music. It but... comes through in your music. It comes through it. Y'all are all adorable. I know you're grown uh, women, <laughs> but you all are just adorable. Uh, well, we, it, we love it. It, it. it is so fun to watch your rise and take off like a rocket. Yes. And I know Thanks. the best is yet Thanks. to come.